how to check your keyword ranking position on Google. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing how you can check the keyword ranking position of your website. So let's get into it. Now, keywords and SEO are two very important things in the world of businesses today because SEO means search engine optimization. Whenever you search for anything on Google, let's say I have this purse store over here. And if I go ahead on Google and I search for a purse store, so if I go on and if I take a look at the different suggestions that I have, the top results will always be the ones that have the best SEO, which is the search engine optimization. And a lot of the times whenever you're looking to purchase something or to get something, you search directly for the item that you want on your Google account. And then you just take a look at the different options that you get from over here. And then you just go ahead and purchase whatever you find suitable. So that is why SEO is so important. Now, what dictates SEO? SEO is dictated by keywords. So let's say I have my Wix website over here. The more keywords that I have, such as leather bag or tote bag, tote leather bag, affordable bag, all of these words are called keywords. And these keywords will allow you to optimize your website to make it appear on the top search results on Google. Now, how do you actually go ahead and check the position or the level of SEO optimization that you might have reached? Well, there are a few things that you must keep in mind. For example, let's say if you go ahead and you go into your site's metadata. So if you go ahead and click on your site actions, you can click on edit site and whatever platform you are using to build your website, you can go ahead in the managerial section or dashboard. And so if I go ahead and go into the site action and click on edit over here and go, go to the site dashboard. So whenever you go into any site dashboard, you're going to have marketing and SEO on the left over here. This is just for Wix. If you have any other way that you are using or building your website from, you're just going to use that platform and you can find these tools in Wix or any other platform as well. So you can do SEO optimization from over here. But before we get started with that, you actually have to go ahead and go to SEO uh, seoability.net or you can also go on to searchengineports.net so these are two websites that will enable you to actually check the seo optimization level of your website so if i go on to searchenginereports.net what i'm just going to do is i'm going to copy the url of my store over here and then i'm going to paste the domain so just like that, once you have pasted the domain, you can enter up to five keywords. So the keywords basically mean that these are the words that you are checking the optimization for. So I'm just going to search for a bunch of things such as purses and bags. Now I've entered five different keywords in each line and then you can also add a competitor that you might be competing with and then you're just going to verify that you are not a robot and click on check keyword ranking and then you can see over here this is optimized to 12% so this website for the keywords that I entered is optimized to 12%. Now, the other tool that I was just talking about is SEObility, and I really like this tool a lot more than the other one. And the reason for that is it gives you a far detailed analysis. So you're just going to go on to seoability.net paste the URL over here and click on analyze website and this will give you a very detailed input into what your website is lacking or what your website actually has currently so you can see over here now it is showing me that I have 79% of my meta, meta information added correctly. I have the page quality at 28%, the page structure is at 54, the link structure is at 78, the server is at 46, and external factors are at 23. You can see the response timing, the words, the media files, and the number of links, as well as the overall SEO score to be around 54%. Then it is also showing you the list of SEO improvements that you need to make. So you can you can see page response time, meta descriptions, uh, JavaScript files, H1 heading, and alternate descriptions as well. So these are the things that you need to change. You can click on view all over here as well. And then to promote your page on social networks and duplicate and remove duplicate heading text. So 
these are all the little things that you can do to improve your SEO. You're just going to enter whatever link or you're just going to enter whatever domain name that you have onto this SEO tool, uh, which is seoability.net. And then you're going to get a list of things that you can do to improve the SEO. Then they also will give you more detailed descriptions of what you're doing. So I have the meta description absolutely missing. And then they will also show you what kind of content you should be optimizing for. So uh, so you can see over here there are only 193 words on this page so use at least 250 to provide useful information and then you have other things over here as well such as the link structure the heading structure the server configuration so you can optimize all of these little factors to get the best results for your website now now, in terms of just taking a look at uh, the uh, stats over here, what are just some general rules of thumb that you can apply to any website? Well, there are a few rules of thumb that I go by, and these are the rules of thumb that you should always be following. First off, use long tail keywords. Keywords such as purse or bag are going to be super overused. The top results for these bags or these keywords have been taken for years and years. Go for long tail keywords such as convene or tote bag for university or tote bag for or edgy tote bag or something like that because long tail keywords are often not that crowded. The second thing is to consider influencer marketing. As much as you can do SEO optimization, you do have to work on marketing as well leverage your on-page seo now in terms of your on-page seo make sure you have your meta information the meta specification specifically such as the title meta descriptions crawlability language alternate uh, links domains page url favicon and doc type set correctly to make sure that there is no hiccup in your website now after that you also have to remove non-performing content so if i go ahead and take a look at my sales this is a store so i can easily see what is uh, going good in terms of sales so you're just going to go into to your sales section or if you have a content writing website then just take a look at whatever content is getting the least amount of engagement or is being viewed the least remove that content because low performing content if it remains on your website it's not going to do you any good and it might drag down the overall capacity or the overall performance of your website you can also choose to become a guest blogger create youtube content promote on social media to get your keywords to rank higher as well as answer questions on Google's people also ask. So uh, if you go ahead and go into the more places section on Google Maps, you can see a lot of the times people have asked questions about multiple things. So you can see your reviews and you also have write a review and questions and answers. So if you get any questions on your Google business profile, make sure to answer them as thoroughly and as quickly as possible. So these are the simple ways that you can not only optimize your SEO, but also check the details on your SEO. Now, if you go on to your marketing and SEO section on your website manager, you can get started with linking it to your uh, Google account or to edit the sitemaps or URL redirectors as well on any of the platforms that you're working with. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to check and see the SEO optimization of your website, see what kind of keywords are best suitable for you. And if you're looking for more keywords, then you should definitely check out Google Trends to find the best keywords as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you found this video helpful, and I will catch you guys in the next video.